Hey readers, in celebration of Chictopia's new bag contest, I thought I'd give you a sneak peek into both my purse and my makeup bag. This is the purse that I've been carrying around the most with me. It's the Mark by Mark Jacobs Pedal to the Metal Flat Pouch. You've probably seen it on a few of my blog posts. It's my all-time favorite. First thing I have in here is the Who, What, Where book by Catherine Power and Hilary Kerr. It covers everything from fads and trends to celebrity style. Definitely head over to whowhatwhere.com to check out their website as well as the book. I also have a little moleskin notebook. Whenever I see something that I find really fabulous, like a pair of shoes or a dress or something at a store, if I see someone really stylish, I take down inspiration notes so I can look it up when I get home or if I can share it with you guys. I also write a lot of poetry and prose, so I have a bunch of scribbled, half-unfinished poems in there. I'm a huge sunglass addict, if you don't know that. I carry about three pairs with me at all times. First pair is a pair of Miu Miu Cat Eye Shades. I really love the contrast between the dusty pink and the tortoise shell because it makes me look more tanned. Second pair are Ray-Ban Club Masters, which you've probably seen on a number of my posts. They're really classic and timeless. They go with pretty much anything, which I love. Last but not least, I have a pair of Mark by Mark Jacobs oversized shades. If you read my blog, you know how I feel about Mark. He's my all-time favorite designer, and I will probably love no one more than I love him. I got this coach wallet at the coach outlet in Buffalo, New York the other day and I got it for about $37 which is ridiculous. I think it was something like 118 regular and it fits pretty much anything I need. I don't carry a lot of cash with me at all times. I'm a debit girl. So it fits everything I need. I also have a Longchamp Le Pillage coin purse. It's fairly big. I used to use this as my wallet when I was in between wallets and I have all the little totes to match it so it goes along really cutely. I have Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream, which is essential for me. I'm a florist, so my nail beds pretty much suck. I have my Blackberry Curve, which is my lifeline. I blog on there, I read your blogs on there, I email you on there, and I have to have it with me on all times or else I get the Crackberry Jitters. I have MAC Lip Liner in here, I really don't know why. I also have CoverGirl Lip Stain, which is perfect for me because I hate wearing lipstick because it gets all sticky on my mouth, but it keeps the color and also makes your lips look really full. I have my iPod. So you can see from my playlist, I'm a huge indie music junkie, and I'm one of those annoying people who listens to their iPod all the time. If it dies, I get really jittery, and I fidget, and I actually end up Googling music on my phone to listen to because I feel really incomplete without it. I have my house key. I don't drive, so my keychain's a little barren. And it's Mark by Mark Jacobs again. It's really, really cute. I love the little face on the guy. I also have this fresh lip balm. It was actually pretty expensive. I think I paid about $40 for it. It looks really dark and intimidating when you first see it. It looks almost black, but when it goes on, it has a sheer plummy stain. Now on to my makeup bag. I scored this Betsy Johnson makeup bag for $22 at Style Sense. If you live in Canada, definitely check it out. They have a lot of designer shoes, accessories, hair products, and makeup all on sale. First thing that I love is NARS Blush and Orgasm. If I can get it open, wrong side. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, this is what it looks like. It's like a peachy gold sheen. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's hard to see because the sun's setting. It gives you a really great glow, which I love. I also have Benefit Easy Brow. My brows are actually pretty uneven in the color, so if you put it on, which I'm going to right now, fills them in and it gives them that really good, like, classic stay. It also comes with a brow brush, so you can give it a little bit of a brush. I'm in dire need of an eyebrow wax right now. I also have Burt's Bees Lip Balm. As I told you earlier, I really love organic products. And it has a really great stain in it because of the pomegranate oil, so it gives you a little bit of color, but not too much. Benefit Miss Popularity Highlighter is one of my all-time favorite products. It is basically a triple threat. It can brighten your eyes if you apply it along here, contours dark circles if you put it here, put it along the bridge of your nose, it actually minimizes the size of your nose and appearance. If you put it here, it widens your smile. Benefit. I love Benefit. Sorry, everything I own is Benefit. Dr. Feel Good Face Balm. It helps keep your makeup on at the same time. It helps fill out fine lines if you have any and makes your skin look really matte for a classic finish. Benefit Boing Cos Concealer. Sorry. 
It's really great for coverage because it's really light, but at the same time it gets rid of zits, blemishes, dark circles, you name it, it covers it. Benefit Lemonade Concealer. It's more of an under eye concealer actually, and it's tinted yellow which offsets the dark circles if you're like me, and you look like you got punched out every day. I can have all the caffeine in the world and they're still there. One of my more unexpected beauty purchases is Evian Face Mist. It works as a toner. It also removes your makeup if you're too lazy to wash your face, like me, sometimes. And, believe it or not, it actually gets rid of the sweat if you're a little sweaty, if you've been outside, which is great for concerts. One of my favorite concealers and cover-ups is this MAC Tinted Moisturizer. I actually hate wearing heavy makeup. I feel really masked and constricted where I wear it. So the tinted moisturizer gives you a little bit of coverage while keeping your skin soft. I also have the Benefit Get Even Powder. Like the lemonade, it's kind of tinted yellow for coverage and it helps get rid of any sheen or oil on your face. Last but certainly not least, I have the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. If you're a little too cheap to buy Lancome, it's great because it has the similar like spiral circly brush. Makes your eyelashes sky high. Mine like practically touch my eyebrows when I'm wearing it. And it gets every individual lash. And I think that's about it. Definitely stay tuned for Marvel's Things for more updates. Coming up soon I have a blog feature from Sam from One Night Stand with Fashion. Who is probably my favorite male blogger. You can find him on my links page on the right sidebar. And other than that I'm going to actually give you a sneak peek into my closet if I can organize that soon enough. And there's going to be a lot more editorial posts, more collections posts, and just stay tuned for more updates, and I'll see you all later. Bye.